Hello, my name is Amit Agrawal and in this tutorial I'll show you how you can create personalized certificates in bulk using Google Sheets and Document Studio. Document Studio is a versatile Google add-on that helps you do a lot more with Google Sheets and Google Forms. You can create invoices, personalized certificates, you can send emails, you can create tasks inside Trello and so much more. The source code of the add-on has been audited and it is 100% compliant with all Google API policies. To get started, we'll create a certificate template. Now you can create templates inside Google Slides itself, but for this example, I'll use Canva because I think it has a much wider selection of certificate templates. This particular template looks good to me. I won't make many edits to this template but I'll remove this name because this will be replaced with a template tag later in this video. Next we'll download this certificate template from Canva as a PNG image. Now do note that the size of this image is 2000 by 1414 pixels and later we will have to modify the size of our Google Slides template as well so as to avoid any distortions. I'll now create a new presentation template inside Google Slides. Next I will resize the page size so that it matches exactly as our Canva image size. Next I will choose the image that I downloaded from Canva and set it as the background image for this slide. We'll now insert a text box to add the employee's name to the certificate. Please ensure that the do not auto fit option is enabled. You can format the text just the way you like. Maybe we can choose a cursive font for this example. I'll now switch to the Google Sheet that contains the employee data. These are the employees who are to be given the appreciation certificates. Now if you look at the second column, it's titled employee name and that's the exact tag we have used in our certificate template as well. Now go to the extensions menu in Google Sheets and launch document studio. If for some reason you do not see document studio here, I'll visit documentstudio.pro and install the add-on. If you are just getting started with Document Studio, you can use one of these ready-made workflows to get an idea of what this add-on can do. But for this example, we'll create a new workflow from scratch. Give your workflow a name that describes what the workflow does. Next, choose the workbook in your Google Sheet that contains the source data. If you want to generate certificates for rows that match specific criteria, you can specify those criteria here. Uh, since we want to generate certificates for every employee listed in the sheet, I will choose the process all rows option and then move to the next screen. On the next page, we are required to select a task. Now since we are trying to generate a certificate which is a type of a file, we will choose the create file task. First choose the certificate template that you have created in the previous step using Google Slides. Our certificate template had only one marker, employee name, and that shows up in the list of markers. Then choose the parent folder in Google Drive where these certificates are to be saved. Now you can save files either in your My Drive or even shared drives. You 
You can also specify dynamic subfolders inside the parent folder where these certificates are to be saved. We will use a variable employee name for this file name and thus every certificate will have a unique name and that will be same as the employee's name. You can create files in different formats including PNG, Google Slides or even PDF. We'll go with PDF for this example. If you plan to share the generated files with anyone in your company or external vendors or clients, you can put their email addresses here. So the basic configuration is ready. Let's hit the preview button to generate a test certificate. Now this takes data from the row 2 of your Google Sheet. But you can obviously override the sample data with your own data. So the test certificate has been generated in our Google Drive. And this one looks exactly as expected. The variable employee name has been successfully replaced with the value from the Google Sheet. Let's go back to the task screen and we will add another task. This task will be responsible for sending these certificates via email to the respective employees. You can choose between different email service providers to send emails like Amazon, SES or SendGrid. But we'll go with Gmail since it requires the least amount of configuration and you already have it enabled for your Google account. This last option should be checked because we want to attach the generated files with our emails as attachments. So we are all set. Let's run this workflow now. Document Studio will now show you a list of rows in the Google Sheet that are ready to be merged. If you would like to skip any row, you can simply deselect them here. The workflow has been completed successfully. I'll switch to my Google Drive. And there you can see all the certificates. I'll now switch to my inbox and here are all the emails that have been sent through Document Studio. They're personalized and they all contain the certificate as attachments. I'm sure you would love Document Studio. You can download the add-on from documentstudio.pro. Thanks.